Greetings! Welcome to Saint of the Week, the show where we choose one saint's feast day from this week and discuss their lives and their impact on the church. The saint for this week is Saint Jerome, whose feast day is October 30th, this Saturday. Jerome was born around 347 in Sturden, which was possibly located in either modern-day Croatia or Slovenia. While he was still young, Jerome traveled to Rome with a friend to pursue rhetorical and philosophical studies. He engaged in an immoral lifestyle, which he felt guilty for, but did not cease. Eventually, however, under the influence of his Christian friend, Bonassus, Jerome converted and was baptized in, in or around 366. After many years in Rome, Jerome and Bonassus traveled to Trier and settled there. Jerome began theological studies for the first time and met Tyrannius Rufinus, who he became good friends with. After a falling out with Bonassus, he and Jerome went their separate ways, and Jerome went with Tyrannius to Achillea. Jerome made many Christian friends in Achillea, and some of these friends accompanied him as he made a journey through Thrace and Asia Minor, into northern Syria. While at Antioch, two of his companions died of sickness, and he himself became seriously ill. In 373, during such an illness, he had a vision which inspired him to abandon all secular studies and fully devote himself to God. As a result of this, Jerome began to seriously study the Bible and desired to pursue an ascetic, penitential lifestyle. He went into the desert of Chalcis and spent most of his time studying and writing. He began to learn Hebrew under the guidance of a converted Jew and translated a Hebrew gospel into Greek. Jerome returned to Antioch in 378 and was ordained a priest by Bishop Paulinus. He did not want to become a priest, but relented under the condition that he got to consider, continue his aesthetic and monastic lifestyle. After a short time in Constantinople, studying scripture under Gregory Nazianzen, Jerome returned to Rome and became secretary to Pope Damasus I. While serving as secretary to the Pope, Jerome promoted his ascetic ideals and gained many followers, including some of the prominent wealthy women of Rome. He also made many enemies, however, due to his sometimes bad attitude and sarcastic wit. His lack of popularity increased after Pope Damasus died, since he could no longer shield Jerome from his critics, and he was forced out of his office. In August of 385, Jerome left Rome and returned to Antioch, followed by his brother Polonian and some of his friends. They began a pilgrimage through the Holy Land, visiting Jerusalem, Bethlehem, and holy places of Galilee. They also visited Egypt, Alexandria, and Nitria. The group finally settled in Bethlehem and built a monastery there, including dormitories for women. Jerome spent the rest of his life working in a cave near Bethlehem, the cave believed to be the birthplace of Jesus. He is incredibly prolific in his writings and wrote the most important of his works during this period including his translation of the Old Testament from Hebrew. He passed away on September 30th, 420, and the remains of his body are in the Basilica of St. Mary Major in Rome. He is a patron saint of librarians, translators, scholars, archaeologists, archivists, and students. Two of Jerome's most memorable traits are his short temper and his sharp, sarcastic wit, which meant that he did not always respond graciously to those who disagreed with him. For all his flaws, he remained a strong, outspoken defender and teacher of the faith, and felt deep remorse for his shortcomings. It goes to show that God can use anyone to impact the world, no matter how imperfect they may seem. St. Jerome, pray for us. Our honorable mentions for this week are Blessed John Henry Newman, Saints Louis Martin and Zaylee Guerin, Blessed Paul VI, St. Vincent de Paul, St. Wenceslaus, and Saints Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. And of course, there are thousands of other saints who undoubtedly have their feast days this week, but there are so many of them that there is no way we can list them all here. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of Saint of the Week. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Peace be to you.